So where the heck am I now? Well, I'm in Pennsylvania. That's right. I'm in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, which is not too far from Philadelphia, about uh, an hour's drive from Newark Airport. Gorgeous farm country, lots of trees, rolling hills, old taverns like George Washington hung out in this kind of area during the Revolutionary War. That's where I am. And I'm in a barn. This is a barn built in the 1850s that was turned into a home by my father-in-law back in the early 70s and where my wife grew up. So that's where I am. And <clears throat> pardon me, <laughs> going through puberty again. So I got to shave. I'm traveling. What am I going to shave with when I travel? Now, I don't want to pack like a brush and soap and a thing. I just want to make it easy. So I go for Barbasol. You know, the travel size. I checked the bag so I didn't have to worry about the size and I didn't have to worry about bringing this, the Gillette Heritage. Yeah, I brought it along just to give it a try because it came in a little cool case. I thought I'd travel with it. It's not my favorite razor in the world, but there you go. I got some Bic Chrome Platinums in there. Oh, reminds me of that scene in Pretty in Pink, or no, uh, sorry. Pretty Woman, when uh, he was giving her the thing, snapped it and she laughed like a loon. Anyway, so let's shave. I just took a shower, did my hair. I got a little sink here. I got a small sink now, which I have filled up with hot water. I'm gonna put some water on my face. Don't have any jazz in the background today, so just imagine that, if you will. So here goes, ah, the old Barbasol. That's right, comes in handy when you need it. Now with this little one, you don't have to press very hard to have plenty come out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got the mirror over here. I got a, got this set up. You should see my little setup I have here. I've got a table that's in my room that I'm sleeping in and a, t a Kleenex box on top of it. And it's sort of propped there precariously. So hopefully it'll stay. Seems pretty solid. But anyway, it is the holiday season. Christmas is only a couple of days away. And this part of the country is gorgeous at this time of year. There's just a, a light dusting of snow in some places on the ground. And you know, living in Texas, we don't ever see anything where I live in Texas. If you live in North Texas, you get snow more often. But so me and the kids today were, we went to a park and uh, I'm going to start shaving while I talk, if you don't mind. And there was just a light dusting of snow left over. I think it snowed here on Monday, uh, last Monday. And there was some left in the parking lot next to the curb. And so we, like a, a bunch of hayseeds from Texas, started making snowballs out of this stuff. And all the, all the native Pennsylvanians were walking by looking at us like we were crazy, but we were having a great time. We made, there was enough to make snowballs. We had some snowball fights. And uh, my oldest son said, this is the most snow I've ever seen in my life. And I'll tell you, you know, I grew up in Houston. I lived in Austin for 30 years now. And I still have not had a major snow event. My dad lived in Chicago for several years in the late 80s and the early 90s. And actually one time we got 16 inches of snow when we were there, when I was there with my brother. I think it was around, well, obviously Christmas time or right there after. But that was, you know, 1987. So I really, I just haven't been around snow much and my kids haven't either yet in, in their life. It snowed in Austin a couple of years ago, but it doesn't stick. So I just want, one year I want to like go to, go to the mountains of Colorado. My brother lives there and I just want to be surrounded by snow. I don't want to live in it. I, I know, I know it's hard. You know, that first couple of days after it snows when it's beautiful and white and everyone loves it and then it turns all mushy and gross and dirty and disgusting and it's just like drags on. I don't want that part. I want... <laughs> I want the Courier and Ives print. You know what Courier and Ives is from the olden days? Like they would uh, do prints in like Harper's Weekly magazine of beautiful Christmas scenes. That's what I want. And we got a teeny bit of that and it's just beautiful out there. This is a gorgeous part of the country, Pennsylvania. I'd never spent any time here. Never been to Pennsylvania before I met my wife. Second pass, miniature Barbasol. Not as much this time. Oh, the top came off. That's all right, I can fix it, folks. Don't worry, don't worry about me. But um, yeah, so this house, as I said, was a barn. Now this is farm country. So lots of trees, lots of rolling hills, lots of picturesque little tiny towns, you know, with homes that were built in the, you know, 16, 1700s. So this part of the country gets old, you know. Where I'm from, everything's from the 1800s and up, so that's, you know, 
I know you guys in the UK are like, that's not old, but... Uh, <laughs> so it's like the kind of place where you have townships, you know? And you have taverns that you can go in that have been operating since the Revolutionary War days. I hope that's not a sore subject with you UK watchers, especially British. <laughs> You're not still smarting from that, are you? Good, I hope not. We're friends now. We're all friends. But anyway, it's just... Beautiful farmland, and so these farms, back in the olden days, and still to this day, modern farms, that are still growing crops and everything, had barns, and this was a barn that was built in the 1850s. And I've seen the pictures of it when it was still a barn. It's a three-story house now that my father-in-law helped turn into a home with some contractors in the early 70s. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Lots of old timber, lots of stone walls. And uh, it's just a gorgeous place to spend some time. And my grandkids, you know, when I was growing up, you know, my grandparents were great and they loved us. But they lived in like boring houses in Houston and in San Antonio. Nothing to write home about, right? But this, man, I hope my kids realize how lucky they are to be able to experience Something like this, because I know I am. Every time I come here, it's just, I love it. I'll show you, uh, maybe I'll try to insert a couple of pictures so you can see what it looks like out in the backyard. There's this huge backyard and then a bunch of, like some woods and a stream going through it, like a babbling brook. I mean, I'm not kidding, it's picturesque. All right, there's second pass. I'm gonna go for three just because. Just because. Anyway, I hope everyone's ready for Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. I know Hanukkah's going on right now. It's sort of uh, perfectly overlapping this year. And I uh, hope you've got your shopping done. I've got, uh, thank God for Amazon, you know? I was able to order stuff for the kids and have it shipped here so I didn't have to carry it on the plane, you know? Uh, but on uh, tomorrow, Christmas Eve, I fly back. And I'm going to be a bachelor for a few days. So expect a couple of live streams then with scotch on the porch and who knows what. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Anyway. <laughs> but it's kind of fun doing these videos when I, when I find the time. Um, you know, when I'm on a trip. Like when we went to California, I was able to sneak away into the bathrooms. And <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> And every, people are playing cards downstairs right now, and the kids are going across the street because they've got a couple of little friends that live next door. So I figured this would be the perfect time to get up here and have a shave and talk to you all. I know it's a one-way talk, but it feels like a talk. I appreciate the fact that you guys watch them and comment. I haven't been able to uh, comment yet on the uh, video from Friday because I've been traveling and kind of taking it easy. But as soon as I find some time, I will respond to any comments you guys have or questions. And then uh, I'll be back on Friday, back in the old friendly confines of my bathroom. So this uh, Gillette Heritage, Heritage isn't doing too, too bad of a job. Oh, you hear that? I hear kids. Kids have come over. I better lock the door. You never know. <laughs> they walk in on their dad. Their friends walk in on their dad shaving in a towel and is talking to his phone. That would be like, what's up with your dad? Yep. The kids have arrived. That means Nerf gun battles. The kids next door have a wall of Nerf guns, like in their basement. Unbelievable. That's another thing we don't have in Texas, basements. Just don't have them. All right. So that's three passes. How's that look? Look all right? All right. Let me wash off with some cold. The water here is cold. Oh. It was 19 degrees this morning when I woke up. And because there was a dusting of snow on the ground, the kids had to get outside. So we did. I pulled myself out of my nice warm bed at like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> Maybe it was 7.30. And we went outside and we went exploring. That was fun. It was worth it. All right. Aftershave. Cremo. I've got it upside down because I'm running out. And I kind of got to get it down so it's easy to come out there. All right, good old Cremo. Yeah, so when I travel, I just make it as easy as, as I can on myself. It's great fun to shave with all the nice brushes and, you know, fancy soaps and everything, but 
Sometimes you just gotta get it over with. All right, there we go. I'll wash my hands off. Look around, make sure I got everything. I think that's it. This was kind of a quick one. Just a quick vacation. It's a quick little vacation for me. Uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow flying on Christmas Eve. So if I see Santa Claus in the air, I will say hi for you. I'll tell you, I'll tell him that you've all been very nice and not naughty. Okay? All right. I'll be at 36,000 feet. I'll be looking out the window for him. Oh, that's pretty good. That'll do. That'll do. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Is it cocktail hour? That's what I'm wondering. Is it cocktail hour yet? Is it time to go downstairs and pour myself a nice glass of Glenlivet scotch? I think so. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this new bathroom. This is a big picture window here. Sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. It's like I'm, I'm, don't go towards the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> but anyway, thanks everybody. I will be back uh, this week with some live streams and on Friday with another normal video. So thanks everybody. And I'll see you then. Bye.